Hey peeps, it's Ian Elise and you are watching Ian Elise. Hi, I'm Ian and this is Hyper. And she is going to be my special guest for today. So what are we going to do today? We're going to do post slime. Yeah, but we're testing out. Um, we're going to try and find out um, the best, um, like, they call it the activator. So, I'll tell you what I mean by that. So, first we're using Borax, if you can tell here. This is personally my favorite. I use this every time. But you have to put it in water. But you have to put it in water or it'll be crusty and weird. So, we normally use one cup of water and put a tablespoon of Borax. But since, but we're just going to make little tiny itty bitty slimes. So, I just kind of eyeballed it, how much I think we will need. Next, we have liquid starch. This is kind of old, that's why it looks a little bit, you know. We, you never use we never starch. used it until I found a good recipe that using this with but slime. And never, ever works for me. It might work this time, but it never works for me. And then we have corn start. I was just trying. I was just like, oh, what else can we use? So it's not a very short video. Um, so I thought we should just try doing this. Corn start might not work all by itself. Yeah. But we'll so then it. the last thing that we have is saline solution. This is actually like contact solution, but I think it has like some type of borax or something in it, so that's how it works. And this is the glue that we'll, this is the glue that we will be using. Um, it is Crazy Art Washable School Glue, but um, over there, you can't see it, I'm pretty sure because it's off camera, but we have two cups of this glue and normal school, school glue upside down so that we can get every last drop. So it'll be a cooler video. So that's probably it for us getting on to this video. <laughs> okay, so for the first slime, we are going to be using borax. First, I'm going to pour in the glue. This part took a little while, so I decided to take off the cap. So that's why you can't see it right now. That's how it went a lot better after that. Just a moment. Okay, now we have our borax water. And I'm stirring it up just so all the little powder gets all mixed in. So I'm going to just add a little bit at a time because it doesn't take much and stir it around. This part may might take a little while if you're making a big batch of it. Just don't add too much or it'll become firm. And then you'll have to, if it becomes too firm, get a bowl of hot steaming water or at least warm or hot, and soak it in there for five to 10 minutes. And that should do the trick. Sorry, Piper's hand is in the way. Okay, so now I'm playing with it just to get a little bit more um, kneaded in. So right now I'm kneading it in, adding in a little bit more borax water just when we need it. This takes just a little bit, as you can tell, but. <laughs> knead it in, knead it in, knead it in, knead it in. Comment down below if you made slime with borax. Also, comment down below if 
um, the borax water was successful. Now we're using liquid starch, and as I said at the beginning, I have not had the best success with liquid starch. Okay, so we have our bowl. We're pouring in the glue right now. Sorry, this stays just a little bit. So we got our liquid starch in there. It kind of looks funny on camera, but it's like a little blue color. So I'm just pouring in a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time and start mixing. Just don't add too much or it'll start like crumbling. It's kind of weird. But if that happens, same thing. Put in soaking hot water and that should work. I've only done it once and it's worked. So you can try that if you want to. So just keep on eating it in and then it should turn out good. As you can tell, ours is a little bit firm, if you can tell. We're just trying to knead it in a little bit. If it breaks apart, that means it's a little too firm. Like if it breaks apart really easily, that means it's really firm. But so far, it isn't really that firm. Just keep on playing with it. Comment down below what is your favorite color to make your slime. Next bowl, third slime. We are using saline solution. Add a little bit of glue. Get your saline solution. Sorry, this part took a little bit, but we are adding in saline solution right now. So um, just keep on adding it in. This will probably be like kind of a little bit hard to get the right amount, but just keep on mixing it in and then it will feel really good. When we filmed that part where Piper had her fingers out, she was saying that it's a little bit sticky, just so you know. But we added, we kept on adding in saline solution so that it wouldn't be as sticky. Sorry if you hear any background noises. Those, so the first part of that was Lucy, and then you probably just heard my brother downstairs, but going with the flow. So we're kneading it in. <coughs> I'll show, it'll be really soon that it's completely done, but this part was like the longest. This is what it looks like. Sorry about the barking. So, this is slime number four. We're using cornstarch. But do not do this. I'm just warning you. So, if you're doing this, do not do this slime. I'll repeat myself. Do not do this slime. So, we're adding in the glue. Sorry, it took a little bit to get all the glue out. So, right now I'm adding cornstarch. Add in cornstarch, mix it, keep on mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. So, right as she touches it, you can tell 
It's a huge mess. No, white bird, don't keep on touching it. Well, it's obvious that she still is playing with it. It's a struggle to get it off your fingers. Okay, so I decided, and I don't know why, but I decided to touch it. You can't hear me, but I said, Ew, that's so gross. This is so that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below what one is your favorite yeah. and what one you have had the most success with. <laughs> Bye. Behind the scenes extra footage. So I was washing your hands. I just washed my hands. <laughs> and here's the mess. Okay, so here was the first one. Turned it kind of started to dry out. It turned out pretty good, though. Yeah. That's the Brax one, if you forgot. Yeah, and number oh. two is liquid good starch. starch. That oh, sorry, looks it's funny. Planted. I love this one, to be honest. So yeah, this one sticky. turned out the best, I think. And then three was the Paley's. Now, this one almost came in once. See, it's so... Ugh. And it, now, when we did the cornstarch, we changed our minds. It was so bad that we threw it away, but it was like, it was like this. It, it was, was glued. It was, it was paste. I took about 30 seconds washing my hands to get that stuff off of me. My personal favorite was um, number two, liquid starch. Dina, don't bring me back to the old days. This is, this is just when, she when was I was a kid, I used to always hold the camera like this. It was really weird. But her voice is super cute. Yeah. Okay, that's and it. that was really sassy. So. so, what do I always say at the end? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. What was your favorite slime that we made? And what slime have you had the most success with?